Hello class, this is chapter 1.6 and in this video we are going to work through a Bernoulli substitution example. This is our differential equation and we can recognize that this is a Bernoulli equation by the fourth power over here and the linear term over there. The first thing we have to do however is to isolate the derivative term. So let's divide both sides by x squared. So if y prime plus 2 y over x equals 5 y fourth over x squared. Alright, so next thing to do is to divide everything by this huge power of y. So we have 1 over y to the fourth y prime plus 2x times 1 over y cubed equals 5 over x squared. Now, if you recall, the Bernoulli substitution method involves getting rid of this middle y term over here and using the chain rule to eliminate the y to the fourth term in the, in, over here. So let's take v equals 1 over y cubed. So dv dx is just going to be d1 over y cubed dx. We can use the chain rule here, of course. This is just going to be equal to the, let's just write y minus 3 for convenience, dy times dy dx. So dy minus 3 dy is just going to be minus 3 y minus 2 times dy dx. Oops, sorry, this should be a minus 4 instead of minus 2. Minus 4. And what this gets us is that dy dx times 1 over y fourth equals dv dx times minus 1 over 3. Okay? And we can substitute that in our original equation. Oh, not this one, not, not the original equation, I mean this equation. To obtain dv dx times minus 1 over 3 plus 2 over x times v because of this substitution equals 5 over x squared. Alright, let's multiply everything by minus 3 to make things slightly easier. So dv dx is going to be equal to minus, oops sorry, that's not, a min, that's not an equal sign here, plus minus 6 over x v equals minus 15 over x squared. Alright, and this problem looks like one that we can solve using the integrating factor method, so let's do that. So our integrating factor is going to be, okay let's just write this down this way, multiply by integrating factor e raised to something dx because it's how all integrating factors are and we look at the term that's that's attached to the linear v term over here and that's minus 6 over x all right so we have dv dx times e raised to the minus 6 over x dx plus minus 6 over x v times e integrating factor equals minus 15 over x squared e minus 6 over x dx. Alright, and remember that the, the main point, the whole point of the integrating factor technique is that we can write down the left hand side like a product rule. So this is just going to be v e raised to the minus 6x dx 
prime, and this is going to be the same. It's 15 over x squared raised to the e antiderivative of minus 6 over x dx. Okay. And we eliminate this derivative by taking the antiderivative of both sides. So the antiderivative of the derivative is just going to be the function itself. And this is going to be an antiderivative. All right. So let's first try to solve for the integrating factor. So the integral of minus 6 over x dx is going to be just minus 6 times log of x. Remember that we don't have to add a plus c for solving for integrating factors. So raise to the eth power this is going to be just x raised to the minus 6. And since the minus 6 ensures that whatever terms inside is even anyway, we can just write, we can drop the absolute value here. So our integrating factor is just going to be x to the raised to the minus 6. And this gets us v x to the minus 6 equals minus 15 over x squared times x to the minus 6 dx. This equal this is equal to minus 15x to the minus 8 dx. Okay, so let's do this integral. This is going to be minus 15x to the minus 7 over minus 7 plus c, of course. And this is our equation in terms of v. Well, no, we can, simplif we can simplify a bit more. So v is going to be minus 15, multiplying both sides by x to the sixth power. You get x minus 1 over minus 7 plus c. This is simply going to be 15 over 7x plus c. All right. Oh, sorry. Um, when you multiply every side by x to the 6 here, you should multiply by c as well. So this is what our general solution in terms of v is. So we want the general solution in terms of y. And this means you have to go all the way back up to this term here, v equals 1 over y cubed. So our substitution was um, v equals 1 over y cubed. This is just going to be y equals v raised to the third. Oh, sorry, that's not right. y is equal to 1 over v raised to the third. And this is going to leave us with this general solution. And this is a cube root over here. All right, and that's our example for a Bernoulli substitution. And I hope that was instructive.